one of the first steps uh, in LDAP integration with SAP is to run the LDAP uh, program on the operating system level. To run the LDAP program and offering on the operating system level, you uh, go to the operating system and uh, switch to the EXE uh, directory of the SAP. Now, once you do that, the command to use is LDAP underscore RXE. But along with that command, you also have to give, you, give some parameters. So the syntax for running the LDAP uh, command uh, is LDAP underscore RXE minus A. Then you give the registered program name. In our case, is LDAP underscore HGS test. Uh, you could give the name that is appropriate to your environment. Then give the register program name and then minus G. Then you have, then you specify the gateway server name, uh, in which this case is COH SAP 0D. Uh, the next attribute that you need to specify is the minus X, which is for, uh, and then you specify the gateway, the SAP gateway uh, 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 information. Now with that SAP GW with the system ID, now whatever your system ID is. Once that is done, you hit the enter key. After you hit the enter key, the program will run and you get to the command prompt again. So to see whether the program is running or not, you can use the PS command with grep and check for LDAP. Uh, the, the mistake that we made is, if you want to keep this program running, you need to add an ampersand at the end of your command. So if you, when you put the ampersand at the end, uh, what it does is, it runs the LDAP program in the background. So let's do the PS command again. And you can see the program uh, is running in the background now. So this is, a, this is a one of the prerequisites for uh, doing the SAP2 LDAP integration to run this LDAP underscore RFC command. The next step in the process would be to create an RFC connection between the LDAP system and the SAP system.